Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome back to Forever Stranded. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I am having a wonderful day. So we want to do some work on Better With Mods today. Now I've been doing a little bit of looking through the mod list and from the looks of it to get started on this, what we need is hemp because hemp is going to be very important in many aspects of Better With Mods as well as industrial engineering. Is that the right mod? Um, industrial wires. Um, am I thinking of the wrong thing? Uh, what is it? Uh, what is this mod? Immersive engineering. Uh, yeah. But anyway, we need hemp, and I was looking at what was going on there, and uh, it didn't look like there was any way to get the hemp seeds. But I am willing to bet that if we break the... Yep, that's what I kind of figured. If we break some grass, we will get some hemp seeds. And that was not what I wanted to do. Let's put that ground trap back in the ground. Yes, absolutely. Some of those things break really easy. I kept breaking the Pam Harvest Craft presser every time that I was working with chisels and bits. So rather annoying. But uh, we do have one industrial hemp seed now. So let's go ahead and go grow a bunch of that. So actually we've probably grown outside. So if we grab, do we even have a hoe anymore? doesn't look like it so let's go ahead and make ourselves up a hoe so we will need to grab two of those and one of these oh and by the way i did find out if you place more than one item around the hand crank the hand crank will just break so yeah don't don't be putting multiple items around your hand crank doesn't work out too good so let's go ahead and move our industrial hemp over here We'll just go ahead and bring this out here. Now, I don't know if industrial hemp will be affected by the tough as nails stuff, but uh, if we're actively bone mailing this, whoops, we missed. But we should be able to get tons of these seeds without too much trouble. And how did I miss again? Gee, many crickets. And. Apparently I just got the achievement cow tipper because I picked up leather off of the ground. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, can we hit the bottom of it? Okay, so if we stand right... No. Okay, where do we need to stand so that we can do this with some type of intelligence? It's just not working for me. Okay, these things are way too easy to break. But anyway, you look at it. We have a little bit of industrial hemp now, which is kind of important. Oh, and what did we get? We got the better with mods, hemp seeds. So let's go ahead and get a little of that as well. So this one, oh, that is much better. Yeah, we're definitely going to just spam out a bunch of bone meal on that now like i say i don't know if either of these are affected by the tough as nails uh winter seasons but yeah we got uh 14 industrial hemp and 10 of these other hemp and you know what we have some bones let's go ahead and get just a bit more of this better with mods hemp there we go so we'll just leave that here and you know what we are going to plant an industrial hemp too and we'll see if either of those are still alive later on in the episode. So let's go ahead and get started on what we need to do here for better with mods. So at better with mods, no spaces. All right, so to get going here, the things that I wanna make is the water wheel. The windmill, I guess we could, no, we could actually make the windmill. 
because now we do have the ability to make this hemp cloth but it would take a lot of it but uh so if we want to make the water wheel though we need to first get the ability to make these sidings which requires a saw which needs a leather belt and that leather belt needs leather straps which is cut leather which is tanned leather and tanned leather is uh, scoured leather with some bark in a cauldron and that is leather run through a millstone so yeah actually I think we will be going this route with the windmill so we will need to gather up a lot of that and oh we have a vertical windmill too but I think we'll do the regular windmill and of course we will actually be making a building for this so I'm, I'm kind of excited for that our first building episode yes but so along with that we will need some axles which is going to take hemp rope so we will need some hemp for that as well and it looks like these need moldings no we can do it with planks okay i was thinking we were going to need to make the saw again anyway but the other thing that we will need is some gear boxes now these gear boxes take redstone latches actually that's not too bad so that was always a problem in every other mod pack that i have seen this mod in obviously not an issue here we've got redstone and gold fairly easily available at this point and we can have broken gearboxes and then just repair them with some wooden gears now if i remember right the broken gearbox comes from putting too much power through a gearbox so we have to be careful with that so basically what it looks like is i need to get a whole bunch of hemp going so i'm gonna go back out here and let's actually just see has anything died out here doesn't look like it so what i'm gonna do i am actually going to dig out a large area here we're gonna plant all of our industrial hemp and all of our regular hemp from better with mods uh seeds get some big outdoor farms going and uh, I will come back when I have, uh, I don't know, several stacks of the stuff. Well, I do have to say, the uh, immersive engineering hemp, by far the better choice here. You see, it's all grown up, and I have extra seeds. I had not gotten a single bit of growth out of this Better With Mods hemp. So I'm going to go ahead and just replace it, not to mention the fact that in order to actually get it to uh, be usable, we have to first run it through the millstone. Now we do get three hemp fibers for each one, but with the extra energy required and the time that it takes, yeah, these guys are far better. So yeah i'll just continue harvesting this got a decent sized farm it doesn't seem like they were either affected by the tough as nails so and i think i'm going to go ahead and combine this together in the center too now down in here i do have some worms i did get a few of those out of here now i know later on we will be removing those worms because they do tend to cause some problems but i need to make myself another hoe and so I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, I think I've got everything together here. So we got tons of industrial hemp. And so we are going to be making the tough fabric from immersive engineering instead of this hemp cloth from Better With Mods because they both have the same uses, but this one uses one less hemp and instead uses a stick. So yeah, I'm more than happy to do that. Now these guys take uh, six each, so we're gonna need 24 of these. So let's go ahead and grab 24. There we go. And it is actually cold in here. I'm about ready to get hypothermia. So then, we just need to combine those together, don't we? So, no, we need to, yeah, this is what these are for, yep. Okay, so then we get those, then we combine these together, and we get our windmill blade. 
So next up, we have a whole bunch of rope. Yep, yeah, like I said, I got tons of the hemp. I, I actually have a bunch in here still, too. But so we are going to make a bunch of the hemp rope. I suppose 16. Oh, we only had 15. But we're going to make a bunch of axles. Oh, and we can actually uncraft the hemp rope into hemp fibers. Oh, so we can just directly convert that stuff. Okay, well... That's neat. But then we have a couple of redstone latches, and the reason that I've got a couple of them is because I'm actually going to make two gearboxes. I don't think that I need to, but I'm going to grab two anyway. So the next thing that we're going to do, we are going to grab our mill, and we're going to go outside. So I have set up a little tower here, and this is just to make things a little bit easier. And I think what we're going to do, we're going to start out by placing our mill say right there and then we are going to oh yeah that's right these are directional so we have to come up here and not fall off and build this up to the top I said not fall off Grab that. <laughs> well, we're almost there. Okay. So now this gearbox, we should be able to put it right here. Um I feel like that's wrong. Let's go ahead and grab this gearbox back up. And I think we need, uh, I, I still don't feel like that's right. I think we need the, this side here I think is the input. So if that's, the, uh, let's go ahead and grab a couple more logs. And I'm using logs for this because well, I have tons of them, and I can reuse them for other things. So let's get down, get our gearbox that fell on the ground. By the way, front of the ship, I have been doing a lot of digging on it. The ship will be disappearing very soon. So then finally, I do believe we just put the windmill blades on here. Needs a 13 by 13. Ooh, okay. Well, I think we need to go up a little bit higher. So let's go ahead and cut all of this out. Okay, down. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so actually if we go off to the side, I think we should be okay. But yeah, that is a big windmill then. So let's grab our gearbox again. And then a couple of axles. And then the windmill blades. What? Okay, well let's go out in front of this a little bit and then we'll chop all of this out and just see ah I see I see I see I see okay it goes on the end of the axle I gotcha okay so let's chop this all back down and oh man I haven't heard that sound for what interesting oh is it because there's nothing in here for it to do or is it because because we need to fall down can we not run that long of a shaft it would appear not so if we come up here 
Oh, are you freaking kidding me? Is there a book for this mod somewhere? Oh my god, if we have to have an axle every once in a while... Oh, that is horrible. Or a gearbox? Well, fine, we'll make ourselves another gearbox. Not that big of a deal. Grab another redstone latch. Let's grab... Oh, crud. We need gears for that. Mm. Okay. So, if we go like that, I think we need... Actually, we didn't need that many. So, we need one, two, three... Well, whatever. So, we'll put those around there. Grab one plank. One recipe of planks. Put these around there. That is, uh, I think I have them off by one. There we go. Another gearbox. That seems a bit ridiculous if that is the case, but it seems to be the case. Let's go ahead and move this down one block then. Because I know it's kind of a pain in the butt. Actually, we will put it in the ground then. Okay, so now if we come up here and put in our next gearbox. Oh, gee, many crickets! There we go. Okay, and then. There we go. Okay, well, we are finally running this through there. And so now the problem becomes that this stuff flies off into the distance when it, and oh my god, the block sounds. So loud. But the stuff that comes out of this mill flies off into the distance. And so I remember I had to come up with something to try to catch the stuff when I was doing this in SevTech, but I don't remember what it is that I did. But let's just see now, if we do this, okay, yeah, so it will pop out on that side. Let's go grab ourselves some coconuts. Uh, let's make a wooden hopper and just see when we get back out there if everything is still right there. So let's make up a couple of planks. And actually we're gonna need another chest. Let's just drop all of that stuff off in there. So everything that's come out, is it sitting in there? Yes, it is. Okay. So if we dig this space out right here, place our chest right here, and then point this into it, will that collect everything? So we'll see, okay, well, we're about ready to have, hey, look at that. We got a piece of flour in there. All right, awesome. And that thing is just barely turning, but the nice part is, is that it actually is a decent sized windmill. And so it makes things look reasonably good. But so, yeah, we are going to be automatically turning all of this barley and rice into flour now and then we can come out here every once in a while grab that and then bring it in and just throw it in the furnace oh I like it all right well now that I've got that underway I think I'm gonna let that do its thing for a while I'm gonna take a look at a few other things that we could potentially do in this mod as long as we're at it so I had a look through Better With Mods, and really there isn't anything else that we're going to be interested in at this second in time. There will be some things that we'll need very soon, though. But in the meantime, what we want to do is get in here and grab a lot of oak wood and a lot of sandstone. And we are going to start building. Now there are a couple other things that we are going to want to get before we go out. And let's go ahead and knock our temperature down before we go out too, because that's kind of important. 
So the other thing that we're definitely going to need is our shears. There we go. So we got some shears. And I think that might pretty much cover it for now. Now there's going to be a lot of stuff that we're going to have to craft up here. We're going to need tons and tons of trap doors. And we are going to need several crafting tables too. So let's go ahead and grab these. We have this last one here that is the hemp fibers from Better With Mods. I did run those through the mill, but yeah. So we'll just throw that guy in there for now. And I think we should be good to go here. So, oh, I need my ladders because we need some spruce leaves. So let's get up here, ladders. Gotta remember, I've been moving everything around. So I gotta remember where everything's at. So we need some spruce leaves. So yes, we are going to have some greenery in this build and I think it's gonna actually look really good. I did a little bit of building on it in creative and there are a couple of things that I still need to work out, but overall I have the gist of it. So we'll go ahead and grab all of this and there must be one that is not uh, cut. Ah, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha, found it. All right, so. Oh, I think there, yep, there's still another one. So I'm gonna have to get some more ladders. Let's see here, I think, yeah, we've got some sticks over here. So let's make another set of ladders. That should be enough to get us to the top. Now, of course, as time goes, whoa, hello. So as time goes on, we will definitely be collecting tons and tons of this. Now, at one point, we are also going to need birch wood and birch logs for the, or birch planks for this build. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that we need to collect up. But I think where we're going to build this is actually going to be just right over here. Now, I don't know if you guys saw when I set that up, we do have a battle tower just right over here to the east of the base. And I think that's one of the dungeons. But yeah, I'm not gonna be messing with the battle tower anytime soon. But so let's go ahead and get started here. So what are you doing here? So we're gonna start out by placing down our crafting benches and we are going to have several things that we're gonna need to get crafted here. So first thing is we're gonna need one setup for stairs. Nice, we get eight instead of six. I like that. Okay, we are also going to need one setup for slabs. And we are going to need one set up for smooth sandstone. So we're going to need some of each of those. And I think what we'll do is we'll just fill all of these up because we are going to need a lot of these various things. So we'll just fill them all the way up and we'll grab a little bit at a time when we go in there. Now this next one, what I, uh, I'm going to need at least one more because no nope, no nope, don't want to do that want to make it into planks first really okay so uh is that going nope all right well we have an extra torch good enough okay so this one here we are going to want to have set up for trap doors so we're gonna set this up here and we'll have trap doors ready to go there now the other one we are going to need fences and lots and lots of fences now I know we could go down and collect a huge amount of fences from the mine shaft under the base but uh, I think we'll be fine just to run these so what ah, there it is book fence so sticks in the center, 
and then we need planks on the perimeter. So let's go ahead and get this. Sticks in the center and then plank, 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 plank. There we go. All right, so I think we are pretty much ready to go here. So let's go ahead and grab a bunch of these guys right away. Uh, we have some, but we'll grab, basically we'll grab a bunch of each of these because we're gonna need a bunch of them. All right, so we're just gonna start right here. I think this will be good enough. So we are going to have differing heights in the base. Now, with the fact that we are building a windmill, we're gonna want it higher up. So we definitely wanna elevate it, but also I have a feeling it's kind of gonna be one of the outer edge buildings of the base. But so what we're going to do, we're gonna start out by just removing a little bit of sand from the ground. And actually we need a little bit of dirt. I want to put dirt underneath that. So we will go ahead and you know what? We do not need the shears anymore, at least not for the moment. But yes, I wanna put some dirt underneath these leaves because I just think it'll look better. So we are gonna come up here, we're gonna put some dirt into this hole. So we'll go ahead and dig it another block deeper. The nicest part about this is that we will be getting a little bit of stuff that we can work with as far as ores are concerned. So now that we've got that, we are going to put sandstone on either side of this thing. Now, next to the sandstone pillars, we are going to put upside down, no. I am, no, 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 I am thinking of the next level up. So we actually do need our shears. So we'll refill this back to sand because this is not right. Okay, so I guess we do still need these two will be dirt. Okay. We will put those on there. And then the other two, I think we'll actually go ahead and put smooth sandstone next to these. I know it's not gonna show, but I think that it'll be nice to have it. So then we are going to put a little bit of fences next to that. And then we are going to line down the entire thing with trap doors. Now behind it, we are going to put more of the smooth sandstone and we are going to bring this up a couple of blocks. Now inside of this area here, we are actually going to need to fill with birch wood and we do not have any. And so, yeah, that will be left open for the moment. And I guess we need to go up two more on those. Now here at the top, we are going to put an upside down stair on top of each of the posts. And then we are going to put an upside down slab there. So I guess as a temporary thing, imagining that to be birch, this is going to be the basic shape of the terraced area, but there is still a tiny bit more that we need to do. So if we get up here on top of this, this is where we now need our oak wood. And I mean, we need tons of oak wood for this. So if this is the outer corner and we have a witch, if this is the outer corner, we are going to go like this. And I have yet to figure out for sure what I want to do. Oh, really? What I want to do as far as the path inside of this because this will be stepped in. And you know what? You poisoned yourself and serves you right. You know what? Let's go take, take her out. We 
we have done a huge amount of torching around here, but apparently not quite enough yet. But yes, so we will have these up on top of that. Then going from there, we will put trapdoors on front of on the front of those. Up here, we are going to place then logs on top of those, trapdoors on top of them. Then upside down half slabs in between the logs and then another set of oak fences between there. Now this corner would get an oak fence. I'm not going to put it in there right now because I need to be able to get up and down. But so this is going to be repeated down the length and width of the building and it will give us a little bit of height to work with. And yeah, I think it looks really good. Now it's going to be a variation of this for what we're going to be doing up above in the actual buildings. Now, of course, we will be able to put some stuff into the base of this, but in general, it will be left empty. And if we need somewhere for wiring or logistics or something like that, that would be what we would use it for. I still need to figure out a way to get up and down from this level to the next level up. I mean, that is five blocks up. And I want to just have some sort of a, a ramp to go up to that level. But I'm going to go ahead and build out the outer frame of this. And uh, yeah, obviously daytime will be beneficial for that. So I'm going to get to work on that and I will see you guys in a bit. Well, I've been doing a lot of building here and I just realized I've been placing all of this stuff by hand and we don't need to do that. We have builder's wands. So yeah, we could go with a stone wand, which would be very easy to make right now. We could go with an iron wand, which would get a little bit more space, still not terribly difficult to make. Well, let's just go ahead and make a diamond wand. Let's go ahead and make our lives a little easier. So I was actually covering an entire area of the elevated platform in order to get uh, a little bit of the, oh, whatever, space to build. And yeah, it's sitting there placing placing and then I realized oh yeah we've got these things so yeah that's dumb on my part but this is coming together pretty good so I am using these sandstone bricks from cork and I think they look really nice we're gonna be using these for our paths and I think we've got some other variations from chisel that we can use so if we look at sandstone so we have a lot of variations in chisel, and then of course we've got the ones from quark. We also have this polished sandstone from quark, which is a completely smooth sandstone texture, which is very nice. I don't even think chisel has that in it, so that's pretty nifty. But uh, that is not the button I want to press. But yeah, so I was building this out and realized, oh yeah, we can, we can make this a lot easier. Now, I'm just curious if we have some way to keep it from trying to build on this level. I don't know, but I will show you guys this because it is kind of important. If you accidentally place blocks where they're not supposed to be, if you type in in lowercase wand and then a capital O for oops, it will undo the most recent wand placement, which makes life a lot easier. But yes, we are getting somewhere on this. I'm going to try working on it between episodes because we are definitely out of time for this one. So I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to give a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any thoughts about what I've been working on, anything that you would like to see me work on, be sure to leave that down in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.